If your stress shows up as muscle tension and when you get overwhelmed, you start to get neck and shoulder pain and headaches, then this is the herb for you. Hey, welcome back to Herbs and Ease. My name is Kristen, and today we are doing a deep dive into an herb called Skullcap, Scutellaria lateriflora. Now, specifically, we're talking about blue skullcap, and I introduced this herb in last week's episode where I was pretending to be the herbalist for the characters on Parks and Rec. So if you missed that episode, go check it out so you can actually see this herb in action, as well as some of the personalities that we might want to pair this herb with. That'll give you a really good indication of if it's also the right herb for you. So as a highlight, Skullcap is an anti-anxiety herb that helps us to build resilience, tone the nervous system, and decrease the effects of stress. It is a nerving, a tonic, an antispasmodic, an analgesic, which means that it can help with pain, and it is an anxiolytic and a sedative. So it has a few names that it goes by. It can sometimes be called mad dog weed because it used to be considered a treatment for rabies. But as we know now, it doesn't actually affect rabies in any way. And in traditional Chinese medicine, it's called Huang Chin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't really have a good grasp on the language. Anyways, it's often used in traditional Chinese medicine in formulas for things like heat and infections and fevers and inflammation, things to clear heat and dampness and toxins from the body. But it's also used in traditional Chinese medicine to calm the spirit or calm the Shen and to alleviate anxiety. And that is how we most often are using it in Western herbalism as well. So even though it's cooling and relaxing, it is considered a tonic, which means that it's going to land pretty neutrally in the body. So fortunately, it shouldn't be too cooling for most people. Skullcap is part of the Limiaceae family or the basil family, and that's going to tell us two really interesting things. One, that it's going to have more of a pungency and a pungent flavor, and two, that it's going to have a pretty high volatile oil content. So it's going to be really good for relaxing stress in the belly particularly because volatile oils or essential oils pretty ubiquitously will relax soft muscle, specifically what the digestive system is made out of. And that means it can relax stress symptoms like constipation. This will show up as low back pain, maybe neck and shoulder tension if it's relating to the breathing and the diaphragm. They can also help to open up restricted breathing and soothe jaw tension. And as we see, skull cap seems to be really beneficial for people who have a lot of neck and shoulder tension. And it can also help to decrease pain during sleep and to improve sleep quality, according to David Hoffman, the author of Medical Herbalism. Now, something that I've been talking about a lot recently, especially in my last few videos, is how herbs can't just be reduced to their primary action. They have these personalities, they have these energetic properties, and they have so many different effects. And we want to take all of those things into consideration when we are deciding which herb to work with or what herb we're going to give someone. The skull cap personality, especially according to my clinical herbalism teacher, Thomas Easley from the Eclectic School of Herbal Medicine, skull cap is for people who are at the end of their rope, people who are just so frazzled and overstimulated that they are always about to snap or flip out over the small stuff. So these are people who feel like every sound or sensation or ray of light is personally attacking them. And they're just so oversensitive to any stimulation, including almost tiptoeing around their own mind and just very nervous about any thoughts that are entering the mind. And as I said, it also seems to be really valuable for people who have a lot of nervousness that manifests as muscular tension. Now, David Winston, the herbalist who wrote the book on adaptogens, says that it's good for people who, when overstimulated or nervous or agitated, start to get muscle spasms and tics and tight, painful muscles, and also start to grind their teeth and have stress and tension headache. And if you don't know this, I am also a massage therapist and a therapeutic body worker, and I have been starting to give skull cap to my clients who have a lot of those symptoms. And I'm already noticing that it's enhancing the work that we're doing together when we're on the table and very quickly is starting to resolve some of those tension symptoms and pain symptoms. 
Now, one of the cool things about Skullcap is that it seems to have a tonic action. And this means that it can be used for a long period of time and that as a sedative nerving, it can help to give people a larger capacity for stress, essentially enhancing our resiliency. So we can think of our nervous system like a bucket and stress is like a faucet. So when we're managing stress and anxiety, we can either turn the tap off as much as possible to limit how much water is entering the bucket. We can consistently be working on emptying the bucket and burning off as much stress as possible. And then we we can do what we can to increase the size of the bucket, which is essentially building resiliency and our capacity for stress. A lot of our nervings are going to affect the nervous system in one of these three ways. And Skullcap is an herb that not only empties the bucket, but it also helps to increase the size of the bucket thereby increasing our sense of resiliency. Now, I have been working with Skullcap for a few weeks now, and already I'm noticing a pretty big shift in my stress levels. Now, I talk a lot about passion flower being one of my favorite anti-anxiety herbs because of how I use it to stop anxiety attacks and big anxiety symptoms. And it's especially good for people who have a really heady anxiety, like mental chatter and rumination and intrusive thoughts, insomnia and waking up in the middle of the night and being unable to stop thinking and quiet the mind down. And Skullcap is quickly making its way to the top of my list of my favorite anti-anxiety herbs, especially for people who have anxiety that shows up as a lot of physical tension. Now, I've mentioned before that I do have anxiety and my anxiety is a lot more cerebral before it really shows up in the body. But recently I had a pretty stressful couple of months. I was getting kind of twitchy and just very nervous and jumpy. And I like to work a little bit with every herb that I work with in my practice so that I can talk about how it feels in the body so I can understand its energetics and just get to know it a little bit better not just cerebrally and theoretically, but actually get to know herbs in my body as well. So of course I figured I'd give Skullcap a shot because I was starting to recommend it to a couple of my clients. And I have to say, I have noticed a big difference in how sensitive I was feeling, not only to my own mental stimuli and like metacognition and the thoughts that I was thinking, but also how sensitive I was feeling to the stressful things that were going on in my life. I also noticed that I was able to focus so much better. Like I was able to limit my distractions while I was writing or editing or working just to stay really focused on a task. And I do have ADHD. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult to stay focused depending on what's going on in my life. And so I would take a little bit of skull cap and I would get to work. It really just helped me sit down and get my work done. And in that same vein, I also noticed that I was able to halt the rumination process really quickly. So you know that when you start thinking about something that is maybe painful or unhelpful to think about, it can get really hard to pull yourself out of that rumination process and out of that overthinking process. Just a few days of working with Skullcap, it's like I was able to redirect my thoughts pretty immediately. And usually it takes me a few weeks of consistently meditating, which is a pretty in-depth practice before I was able to change my thoughts so easily. And for that reason, I am officially dubbing Skullcap meditation in a bottle. So for those of you who don't want to meditate, but want those mental health effects, try Skullcap and see what it does. See if it helps you focus and be able to control your mind a little bit easier. So how do we use Skullcap? Well, first of all, it seems that for these pain relieving and tonic and anxiety reducing benefits, it's going to work best as a fresh alcohol tincture. It seems that from a few sources that when the tincture is made using dried Skullcap or when we use dried Skullcap to make a tea, it has more sedative properties rather than the tonic and anti-stress tension and anxiety properties. So when you shop for it, or if you make it yourself, make sure that it is a fresh flowering alcohol tincture. That is how it's going to give you the best effect. 
If you have the dried herb, it might make a good bedtime tea to help you calm down and sedate you at the end of the day with things like chamomile and passion flower and dried valerian. But for the benefits that we're really talking about today, you want a fresh flowering tincture. We do have a fresh flowering tincture in the apothecary and you can use Skullcap 10 to get 10% off of your first bottle if you want to give it a shot. Just as a side note, if you're thinking about making this tincture yourself, it's a basil. And in my experience, basil is very easy to start from seed and it's very easy to grow. So this is definitely one that you want to consider adding to your garden or to your pots in the spring and in the summer. And then when it starts to flower, you can harvest it and make a fresh tincture. Now, another cool thing about Skullcap is that there doesn't seem to be any contraindications. It doesn't seem to interfere with any medications, including anti-anxiety and mental health medications like SSRIs. But of course, if you are going to bring this or any new plant into your life, always do a good citizen scientist Google search between the medications that you're on and any herb that you're considering using to make sure that nothing big pops up and there aren't any contraindications for your health ailments or your medications. So just do that little personal research to uh, make sure that you're good to go. So let me know in the comments if this sounds like an herb that would benefit you or someone in your life, or also let me know if you've worked a skull cap and what you thought about it. I'm always curious to hear what people think and what everyone's experience with these different herbs are. It really helps us one, to be witnessed in our own healing journey and also to learn from one another. So I think that's it for me today. Until next time, stay chill and yeah. Okay. I love you. Bye.